Hey there, it's Cheryl again with another tool tip. Today we're going to talk about whiteboarding using Google Hangouts. A couple different options there, but first of all, you have to start your Hangout. So I'm on the um, Quality Student Training Google Plus page. You can see I'm signed in as myself. And if you go over here to Profile, Hangouts, and then you go to Video Hangouts, start a video hangout. We'll get one up and running here. There's a link that you can share and jo have people join, or you can actually invite them using um, messaging here. But we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to cancel. And so the different options you have are all on the side here under Apps. First one is Google Drive. We're going to use that. So you should go to Create Shared Sketchpad here. Yes, yes, open. And there you go. You have a Hangout Sketchpad. Works just like all the other like drawing. I like to have research up because it allows me to do something like elephant. You just drag that right in there. Little old shutterstock. You can also add callouts. And other basic kind of functions. Um, it's pretty cool as you can kind of connect pieces together. But it's a real time drawing tool that everybody can work on together. Just like other Google Docs, Google Drive items. Um, it saves a sketch pad into your drive so you never lose it. It's pretty easy. Um, it has all the regular features. Once you've created something, you can do all sorts of stuff to it. Okay? So that's one way to do the sketchpad. Another way is using what's called Kaku, I think is how you say it. It's a little more like Gliffy. So you can create a diagram like this. Gives you template options. Let's do a Venn diagram. Boom. And this, similar to Google, you can you know edit things that exist right here. What's kind of neat is you have the chance to um, these stencils you can kind of pull in. I don't know. So here's a desk. <laughs> you wanted to figure out how to do your office layout with a desk. There it is. So, pretty handy. Everybody can edit and work together in this space. You can also export it as all sorts of different doc types. Um, and then you can save it right in your uh, Google Hangout. So that's that. In order to add, Kaku is something you have to actually add. So there's a link on the wiki page. Um, you might be able to search for it under Add Apps. Um, but those are some options. All right, so that is how you do a shared whiteboard in Google Hangouts. Hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, as always. And uh, have a good rest of your day. Bye.